Previously on Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. Behold, you have married another rainbow! <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh god, it's so new, right? Oh god, I don't know if it's because I'm high on mushrooms or what's going on, but. Oh, it's because you're high! Oh. And now back to the sorcery. Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. When we last left off, I fought a triangle in an epic battle. Seriously, that, that music made that fight, like, just ridiculously epic. The music in this game is just freaking phenomenal. Oh, man. And now I'm going to continue my quest of tickling this little cigar guy. Oh, 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 stop being a little bastard. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, fine, I'm playing the game. Oh, that was weird. My voice kind of changed there. Oh. Anyway, let's begin session three. Note this session typically requires a lunar month to complete. What? A month? Holy sh- What? A month? Damn! It's gonna be a long freaking series if that's the case. So you have tamed the gold trigon and the storm is miraculously lifted. Bravo on that! Ha ha! Exalt the megatome and study its working should you become lost or confused. I.e. your 17 magazine. Another specter still lurks in the darkness between Mingi Ta. Oh no, not you again. And do the monkey, and the monkey around. <laughs> nah, he just loves doing that dance, doesn't he? Considering the cosmic geometry of the Trigon Trifecta, observe the moon, the moods of the moon. Our research shows that social support networks may play a role in the outcome of the f this phase of the SSMP. Why I got a tweet? No, I don't have a Twitter. I don't have a Twitter account. Be advised that henceforth we will be monitoring your inputs in relative silence. I'll just be sitting here smoking my cigar for the rest of the time. Whoa. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm on the verge of death. Wait, where did... When did my hearts went down? Oh! Shit! Damn, Skithian, are you alright? Groggly woke. Woke. I don't know. Oh, damn, dude. It's those drugs. You are hungover as fuck. Groggly woke from a deep, super deep sleep with no firm re recollection of what had happened. We were reminded of the miracle in the meadow and our encounter with the gold trigon. What new powers have we, have we been granted? Blackfellow was totally floored how awesome and crazy the fight with the gold trigon was. Or, or with the, the gold trigon sound from the description we gave him. Lockfellow wondered about how we, how maybe the gold trigon might be connected with to the grim mysteries beyond the iron gate in the meadow. Lockfellow didn't dig grim mysteries, so he chose to go home and chop wood. That's his, that's slang term for going to sell dope. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go make some money. See you later, bitch. What the hell? So my, my HP is, my max HP went down. This, this is gonna be, so this is gonna be like sad shadow of the colossus, isn't it? Where like. After every time I kill something, I get I get weaker. Uh, I guess what you didn't really get weaker in that game; you just got more corrupted. What's up, dude? I see. So you summoned an attempt to tame the golden trigon. I have a few things to tell you that I think you'll find useful. Okay. In days of you. Oh. Wait a minute. But this shit is like. I think I understand. This is actually is really all based on time. I thought it was like based on in-game time, but this is really this was based on the last like this is from a few days ago when I had beaten the gold trigon. And that means that what if these 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 lunar phasers are actually based off like real lunar phases outside? That's pretty sweet. A few things to tell you that I think you'll find useful. It's absolutely absolutely essential that you touch and hold the shield button when you're you can't in order to recover your lost strength. Real what? Damn, I wish I'd freaking known that when I fought the Trigon. To tame the gold trigon, you must learn to survive the three movements of its bizarre song using Look to the heavens for some oblique insight to the workings of Meadow and then behold the gold trigon. Uh, okay. Cool, alright. Thanks, dude. Wish you had told me that fucking sooner. Alright, let's go ahead and have a mushroom. Ah, <sighs> time for to get out of that. 
Dude, I can't believe this shit actually does make the skithian a little, a little high. Hey, doggy. Whoa. What the? I see it. I know. In the meadow, there was an iron gate, and we had a feeling we could maybe lift it somehow. Uh. Okay, just, uh. Spot a gold trigon thingamajigger. <laughs> Up the, above the gate. Maybe we, we react to our song. Oh, okay. I'll sing you a song! A song of stoner ism. Okay. There you go. You like that? Yeah? What am I doing? Dragging? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh. Get out of my way, Fluffy. I'm going in there. What in the hell? Hello, giant. <laughs> record floating above my head. Whoa, that seems kind of... Who put that JPEG up there? Was that you, doggy? Was he, wasn't it? Doggy, why do you feel the need to lead me everywhere you go, anyway? Can I walk this way? Looks like... Wait, no, no, there's, there's something over there. Wait, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. I can walk over here. Oh, no, I guess not. <laughs> okay. Hello. Do I insert my gold trigon into you or something? And no, I'm not hitting on you, black triangle. Beyond the cavernous cave in the meadow, we came upon a secluded grove with a collection of strange stone structures. So, was this the trigon grove? As we stood beside the first stone structure, we thought it the gold trigon, we felt our swords stir. Sweet! Uh, okay. Oh, I gotta... I gotta slash it? God, everything is just solved by slashing, isn't this? Ah! <laughs> Did I do it? Oh, what is that? Is that you, Jesus? Okay. Okay, and there's the other one, and... Okay, so there's three total trigons. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Good God. Good God, Skithing, could you just, like, move just a little bit faster? Oh my God! In the Trigon Grove beyond the cavernous cave in the meadow, we approached a solitary grave and we met a glowing ghost dude. So, I'm a glowing ghost dude and I'm a... Uh, actually, I don't know what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? Tell me, text. Glowing ghost dude in the Trigon Grave totally freaked us out at the first, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> got you. Oh, uh, you're totally freaked out, aren't you? Anyway, oh, yeah, look at that. I recognize the Megat, our skidding garb, and I saw that you carry the Megatone. I'm wondering if we understood the uh, esoteric markings inside. I sure as hell don't. Actually, no, wait, I do. In a whisper, he spoke the name of the deathless specter he had woke we had awoken in the darkness beneath Miggy Tall. The go the Gogolithic the <laughs> wait the the Gogolithic mass. The Gogolithic. We knew the dreadful name from the old stories, and we felt our blood running cold. We also chuckled slowly because it was a funny name. <laughs> Up until now, I had the feeling that the Gogolithic mass you you saw as a as a bit of a tourist. Oh. Now that you've learned the song of sorcery and tamed the gold trigon, you will find every step is haunted. Oh, that's great. Thanks, dude. Thanks for telling me that. I couldn't tell the go the glowing ghost dude was cheering us on or psyching us out that or what. What do you want, man? I don't know, man. I'm just going by what the text tells me to do. The giant black cursor in the sky. We told the ghost dude of our intention to detonate the Megatum top Mingy Taw and release the Gogolithic mass from immortality. Oh, okay, well there we go. There's our freaking Mer there's our woeful Aaron. Okay, so we're gonna we wanna try to kill that thing. I don't know, I mean he was he wasn't really bothering anybody though, right? I mean yes, he was just kinda chilling out until we took his seventeen magazine. We asked about the Trigon Trifecta and the locations of the remaining two trigons, but his response was irritating and obtuse. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, behind a bush, and, uh, take a left of that bush, you go, you'll meet a, you'll see a rock, and then you take a right there, and, uh, I forget the rest. Main two trigons exist only in the dreams of the mountain folk. Looking the remaining two trigons is not so much a question as of where as when and how. Glowing ghost is sure to talk a lot of unhelpful nonsense. Dude, you suck. Alright, see ya. 
I'm not done with you yet. Oh, what the hell? What do you want? Oh God, you're gonna just don't don't tell me the same thing again. Okay, I can't, I got it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have talked to you again. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were gonna say the same thing. Okay, is there any way I can just get you to? Damn it. Escape now. Should have. Never mind. Aha! Should have known better. Behold the moon. I shall. Wait. Look at my new book. These people have been thinking stuff, apparently. What you thinking, Jake Log Logfellow Clinton? Oh, strange. I see a gold skyward beam in the woods beyond the meadow. Has someone learned the secrets of the Trigon Grove? That's pretty bitchin'. That's all you gotta say, man. He's like, oh, cool, they figured it, figured it out. No, I'm just... Now I'm gonna sit here and chop some more wood. Hmm, I mean, I really worry about the Scythian. She just flew for days after the storm lifted. I hope she's okay. Yeah. She's lying, like, half dead in a meadow. <laughs> Don't worry about me. What happens if I, can I raise my sword here? Let's try it out. <laughs> Damn, I thought something would happen. Okay, so that's it, huh? What did I accomplish by making an eye triangle glow? Can you tell me, doggy? No, you're just gonna sit there and sit there and fart all day. God dang it, doggy. Okay, fine. I'll go find my answers myself. What is up with you, giant floating record in the sky? Are you God? Oh, I just, uh, I just play the music in the game. Oh. Really? So that came from the dog and his little beep, his little jupe, his little, uh, boom box. Oh, yeah, well, but it's all wireless. It all connects to me. That's cool. That's a cool giant record. I didn't know you could talk. Yeah, well, most things in this game can talk. Look at that sheep there. Whoa. I think I really had too many mushrooms here. Let's go see what Logfella is up to, that little bastard. Hey, Logfella, where the hell are the rest of the Trigons? Oh, buddy, where'd you go? I want to make sure the sheep doesn't have something really important to tell me. I know you've got some important knowledge held within that silly little mind of yours. Despite a solidly built water well with a broad wooden roof. I'm not sure if I ever actually examined that, so... Okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 no! Okay, oh. Whew. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. Darker girl sat on a stone beside where the woodsman chopped wood. It's about her secrets of the Trigon Grove and the peculiar dreams of the mountain folk of the Caucasus. She told us about how the dreams of her people held many mysteries and how they reflected the moods of the of the moon in strange ways. The girl told us to sit by the hearth in the stone hut at, the, at any time, either to go dream walking or to gather our strength. We kindly got the feeling that the remaining two trigons might be lost in dreams or something like that. Okay, so I gotta go to the little dream world. More neat. What's up? <laughs> He's like, hey, hey. morning. Hey. <laughs> the woodsman known as Logfella had returned to his wood chopping and seemed to be really digging it. Yeah, I'm uh, really digging this wood chopping. Oh, uh, yeah. Almost as much as I have this weed. Logfella had been seeing the sideward beam in the sky behind the meadow, and so we asked about the secrets of the Trigon Grove. He spoke of an old story that his people typically told their children to freak them out. And then everybody died in the end. The end. Logfella spoke of a posse from Scythia who had come seeking to the Trigon Trifecta in those forgotten mountain mountains many moons ago. The posse learned to seek the Sylvan Sprites and send them all scoured and... Then they sought a location to enact a miracle. Possibly had hoped to activate the three skyward beans in the Trigon Grove, but they had no idea where or when the Trigons were. <laughs> where and when. The Posse wandered aimlessly for a long time on the old ro road to Miggy Tall. Eventually they grew weary and so they stopped. And the Posse was suddenly killed by a deadly specter by the side of the old road where a handful of graves remain to this day. We told a lot for that was a nice story, but actually... He didn't figure it out that much. You know, you don't really have much to say either. Uh, huh. That's cool. What? Uh, what the hell was that, dude? You know, why don't we just, why don't we just enjoy the quiet? Dude, he's talking. 
dude, what are you doing, man? I'm the one who does the voices here. What are you, what are you doing? Talking like you have a mind of your own. I've just been notified the XV, the first Skyward being the Trigon Grove. The Bream Bridge. The, this big Bream. Can't say it. This beam bridges the world of the living and the world of the dead. So let me find a ghost or two to talk to your travels. If you feel it or begin to understand, do the esoteric markings and shapes inside of the megatone hold new meaning? Nah, I particularly no. Okay. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Logfella. Hey. Alright, no problem. Back to chopping wood. Yeah. What was it he said? He was like, It's like, you don't say much, do you? I'm just gonna. Alright, I'll sit out and enjoy the scenery. Get high with me, man. Maybe if I sit in this chair, I'll go to a different place. Okay, let's take a nice long nap. His little fireplace is just, just spewing out fumes of. <sighs> druggy fumes. <sighs> Lock for the cause of this steam room. We all know it's not steam. Oh, I've returned! Okay. Let's go find some more spoomy spirits. Spoomy spirits of old. Bunny, where are the spirits? Tell me. No, 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 don't kill me! Relax, Bunny, you aren't actually real, so I cannot kill you. I'm not seeing anything yet. Give me another mushroom. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not high enough yet. I'm gonna get high in my dreams. That is a new level of high. And that right here. They're like, oh god! Man, these graphics are freaking gorgeous though. Oh look, it's my favorite guitar guy! Actually, you're the only guitar guy now. That's okay. I don't mind being your favorite guitar man, if I am the only one. Hail to thee, Mistress Ma'am Lady! It's Clue Grove. He met mysterious fellows chilling by the fire, playing a guitar. Alright, play me another song, man. There once was a lady who came and sat down to listen to me play a song about something else that I didn't think about last. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I, you haven't gotten any better. I thought maybe your skills improved, but. Well, wait, wait! I can sing! I can sing the Beatles! Okay, let's go this way. Where did we find the little uh, bear dude that was groovy and out there earlier? Where'd he go? If only you were here, I bet he would. I bet he knows what to do. Okay, is there something here? No. Oh. There might be something in the water. I'm gonna get mushrooms so I can get high inside my own dream. Lulu, run around your bunny face. La 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 la. Okay, is there something out here? Believe? Whoa! Whoa! Holy sweet mother of God, I'm Jesus. Female Jesus. Oh, there he is! He bear, no bear, no! Come back, bear. Just want to be friends, bear. Whoa! All I had to do was believe, guys. Believe that I could walk on water. You know, I've tried that before, though, and that just didn't work out for me. Freaking shark came over. It was just not fun. Even even in well-known dream space, uh, new places to explore and uh, new connections to consider if you continue to believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I can talk. Okay, you can't fly, but you know what I mean. When you're lucid in a dream, you'll realize who you're, you've imagined you are. But to identify with the dream has become a wit bewitched. What? Should you manage to stabilize your lucidity, you will be able to co-create with it instead of fighting, resisting, resisting and cursing. Safely or crossing the threshold of liminality is a simple matter. Seek the familiar places and warmth of the hearth. Okay, dude, you lost me at, like... You lost me at the word, the. Okay. Let's just go ahead and follow my little bear friend. Okay, cat. What was he doing standing on the edge of that thing? Just looking off into the... Looking off at the moon? 
Hey, bear man, you want to dance? Hey, buddy. Hey. I don't think he likes me very much. Come on, man. I just want to, want to groove you out together. Come on, bear man! Is that bear grills? Is that who that is? Bear grills, is that you? Follow the bear. Follow your nose, wherever it is. Ha, <laughs> look at him grooving out. Get something new, I did. Oh, good, he finally stopped. He, wanted, he wants to boogie with me. In my dream walking, there's a special place I'll always go. A palm in the trees at the heart of the world. In my special place, I visit a titanic hollow tree. She's a goddess long since dead. Predates mankind by untold eons. Of course, I never tell people about these god goddess trees, because they'll probably just call me Hippy Dippy Doo Dah. You I am Hippy Dippy Doo Dah. <laughs> dude, you are the, dude, you are the coolest dude I have found in this whole game. You know that? I hope one day I can be just like you, Dancing Bear Man. You want Let's talk, dude. What? Fight? No, I don't want to. I don't want to fight him. Dude, he's so. Why would he hasn't done anything? Is that his bear junk right there? Dude, you need to get a bigger loincloth, I think. Oh, god dang it. Fine. I will fight you. Because apparently that's what I must do. Holy shit, you've got your own little... What the hell you got there, man? Oh, no, don't kill me! Oh, oh, alright. Oh my god, you have more HP than I do. Dude, don't save your shield in front of me. Dude, I just want to come over and... Oh, god! I just want to come over and bow you with you. Oh! Whew! Damn, dude, you... Oh, no, no, what, what do I do? Oh, yeah! Oh, I gotta dodge. Okay. Oh, no. That's... Oh, God. I'm sorry, Bill Grill. Bear Grills! This is how I wanted our, our groove to go, alright? Oh! Uh, Super Smash! Super Bear Smash! Okay, dude, give up, man, alright? You're almost dead. I don't want to kill you, alright? Uh. Dude, why didn't you just give up, man? Please. I don't want to kill him. Don't kill him. No, I'm not going to kill him. No way, man. I love you, bear. Technically, you started it. Actually, no, I, no, he didn't. <laughs> he was just dancing. I just come over and start attacking him. I just informed the Grizzle, grizzle Boar has been allowed to escape unharmed. This is hardening news. There's a boy who's included in the SSA EP to allow participants to self-identify as a compassionate, reasonable people. So yeah, that's awesome, and we love, love you for it. Now imagine that you might be wondering what the key is for. To be honest, I have no freaking clue. Ah, oh, great. Well, there's only one other locked door that I know about, so... Where it was, that's uh, all the way back, it was like the road to Mingy Ta. Do I feel freaking bad? Does anybody feel freaking horrible for that bear? I... Holy sweet giant Lord God! Inside a tiny tannic hollow tree, you approach a solitary grave and a bat of a badass ghost showed up to sing us a mad rhyme. Dude, what's up? What's up? I'm about to throw down some beats. You ready? You ready? I said, are you ready? I'm <laughs> under the woods of the moon and to learn when to where to be and how to be. Also, I just want you to know that I'm not deliberately trying to spook you by looking so awesome like I freaking doodly ding dong a doo doo. God, you guys all suck at singing, you know that? Pretty that's what this all world's all about. Okay, well, what's up with the fadey thing? It's because my HP is slightly low. Well, where, where does this go? I'm, I'm guessing the key goes to Minky Taw, right? Oh, hello, now this looks familiar. Hello, dream version of this place. So, should I do something? Maybe summon? Some my song of sorcery. I will heal myself while I'm at it. Okay, give me that. Give me that mushroom.
Dude, if Lockfellow's in here, then I'm gonna be tripping the crap out. I'm tripping so many balls, man. Whoa! What the hell is that? Did I just gave him a hug. No! What are you doing? Am I taking a nap? No, I don't want to go back yet. I didn't want to go back yet. Wait. Oh, I don't want to leave yet. I wanted to still look around. Shit. Damn. Okay, well, I guess I'll go check out, uh... I'll go check out that door. <laughs> what else am I going to do? Man, what the hell? I wish I didn't... It just automatically did all that. Apparently, I guess I knew that guy, because... Give, give him a bear hug. Which I learned from Bear Grylls. Hey Logville, you know anything about this key? The woodsman didn't recognize the key we found, had zero idea what it was for. Okay, well, I'm what gonna see about blood sports. Everyone likes blood sports, right? I, I heard that uh, they're, they're building a place downtown. Um, some kind of uh, place to see people get killed by animals, beasts, and stuff. That sounds neat. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Oh my god. Did you see the weirdest stuff, Jake Lockfellow Clinton? Hey, look, another sparkly grave. God, another dead person. Ah! Is that what the gold triangle lets me talk to dead people? We approached a collection of graves in a thicket to the side of the old road. We met a few ghosts who seemed friendly. Hey, how's it going? I'm uh, Bob, and this is Jimmy. Hey, how's it going? My name's Jimmy. I'm the tall one. Oh, well, that's kind of... Which is kind of mixed up, actually. Oh, I get the whole time. Actually, you sound like something else I know. The lone ghost we spoke was a giant we knew from the old stories. His famous portrait demanded obedience. I demand it. Last year before, the Yule Tide I assembled a posse, and we set out to reassemble the Trigon Trifecta. We had heard about the gateway in the infinite, to the Infinity at the... Uh, at the summit of Mingi Tom. We thought it sounded like something cool to see. So anyway, we tamed the gold trigon, scoped out the trigon grove, so we're saying it to locate the bright moon trigon. Locating the bright moon trigon didn't go so well. We got totally lost, to be honest. Suddenly, we realized the significance of the lunar cycle and its influence on the spirits who slumber in the twilight realms. So when we sat here and began to monitor the moods of the moon, so we might learn when to be where and how. We tied a boredom waiting around for the moods of the moon to change. Okay, we actually died because of an argument we had because of one. <laughs> I really don't want to go into it right now, if you don't mind. It was a bad argument, <laughs> Okay, so what happened was that one of our posse was a cheating cheating cheater, and we caught him red-handed. The fight broke out, and the cheating cheater fled up the old road towards a perilous precipice. So then we were just hanging out, wondering what to do, when all of a sudden the, go the gogolithic mass showed up. Yikes! Until we murder our asses. Alright, see ya! That was a great story. What's going on? Whoa. Did it just get darker? What's... Oh no! Not you again! No, 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 no! Run faster, man! Uh, sucking the life out of me! Ugh! Fine, you want a piece of me? Stony bastard. Just don't know what to quit to you. Don't slam your shield in front of me. I don't have time for this. Come at me. Come on, hit me. You can't beat me. Come on. Strike me down. Oh. <laughs> One star left, man. You can take me. Yeah, go ahead. Do your death trumpet. <laughs> yeah. Still chasing me? Ah! Oh, okay. Thank God. Alright. Let's get the crap out of here. What's this say? 
On a side path leading away from the old rose, a stone car with previously indecipherable lunar pictograms. The pictogram refers to a secret place located nearby, where the moods of the moon could be altered. The moon grotto. Oh, hell yeah! I knew it! Pants, am I? Is that you, God? Whoa. Uh. Oh. Wait. Whoa. Oh, so as I sit down and wait, I saw the, the moon start changing. It changed from, like, waning to full. Waxing, if I don't remember what. Sup, dude? So, you've. I see you've managed to have to alter the mood. Mood of the moon in the moon grotto. Wonder how long this time paradox will last. I've just been informed of the. Oh, okay. He's. <laughs> I've just been informed. Oh, wait. No, no. You already heard that. Okay, well. That's cool. Can, uh. Can I walk over there? Yeah. Sweet. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what that's going to be for, but uh, I'm guessing it's something important. Anyway, I'll go ahead and save this for next time. I'm waiting. Like or favorite if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now to board the SLP. The day's always sunny, the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.